Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're doing a beginner's guide to Things 3, one of the cleanest and most powerful task management apps out there. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by to-do lists, I for one have, this app is designed to bring clarity and focus without getting in your way. So right as we launch it, by the way, it's on the uh, App Store for ten, about 10 bucks, and there are other versions, which, you know what, let me research. So. For the iPhone and the watch, um, it's about 10 bucks, and I purchased it for that much. You can have the Mac version with a free trial for 50. For the iPad, it's 20. And for the Vision Pro, if you dare, it's 30 bucks. So right off the bat, we just launched the app. Welcome. Here's what you need to know in a nutshell. Keep your mind clear. Collect your thoughts in the inbox so you don't forget. You can review them later. Make the most out of your day. You have today, upcoming, anytime, and someday. Pick your to-dos for today and get going. And then you have a logbook. It, when you complete something, it moves over there for safekeeping. So right off the bat, all I got to say is that it is pretty nice, pretty simple. Um, and you have natural buckets to organize your tasks. Now you've got the inbox, which is where you have new ideas or task lands. Um, I want to begin... I want to sign up to the gym, right? Then you can have notes, prices, and then you can have dates. And I want to do that today okay? or tomorrow. Can we do it today? Yes, we can do it today. And then we can move it to meet things for iPhone or for a new project, but we don't have projects yet. So we go back and then you have the today view, which tells you the tasks that you have right now keep distractions away and I want to sign up to the gym which is the one that I've already made so if you sign up you check it and as soon as it you check it it goes into the logbook just like the tutorial said now there might be upcoming things that you want to have like for instance show events allow full access from your phone so this is an adoption of people's different birthdays from my own calendar from my phone which you can opt for or outside of so let's say we want to create another one called physical therapy that recurs can we have it recur it's an errand and you can manage tasks we can add a new tag family save and we can even mess with this tag and have it physical therapy one be on the 15th can we have it be recurring can we add we can add a reminder for it on the 8th that's the reminder and then we can go there one to do moved out of the inbox and now it is in the upcoming right here great now we go back and then we have the logbook of things that I've already done. Meet things for iPhone, which is the project. Tap this. We can learn the basics right here. Tap the to do. You're looking at it to do. Complete it by tapping the checkbox on the left. Completed to do's are collected at the bottom of your project. Create a new to do. You can turn, you collapse this to do, then tap the plus button. Okay. So we can add the to do much like we did but we already did that. Put this to do in today. Tap the calendar button below to decide when you'll do this. And I wanna do this today, right here. Plan this to do for later. Tap the calendar button again, but this time choose a date in the future. All right, let's have it be tomorrow. So right now it is on the calendar for tomorrow. You can reorder your to-dos. To reorder your list, tap and hold a to-do, then drag it to where it should be. There you go. I want to make this at the top. You can create a project onto bigger things. Leave this project and go back to your list. Then tap the plus and add a project of your own. Right? Let's have a new project called Keeping Up with Keeping Up. And I want to keep going back to this because it's actually doing a great idea. Organize with areas. Create an area for each sphere of your life, much like we did at the start, and then you're done. Feel free to start adding your own projects and to-dos. 
You can come back to this project later to learn the advanced features below. When you're done, tap the progress ring at the top market complete. So right here, we can archive, move it, convert to project. We can convert this to an entire project on its own. Go back, see the projects that uh, we have, uh, learn the basics. We've learned the basics. We've done all of these right now. And so we're done with the entire thing. There you go. Now meet things for iPhone. Turn up your setup. Show your calendar events. We've done that. Enable the share extension. Things share extension lets you quickly create to do's from other apps. You can open Safari, tap the share button and the row of icons, look for things. And if you don't see things, tap more to find it. And you can integrate it with other iOS apps. You can add widgets. So here we are at the lock screen. We can customize it, customize the lock screen. We can choose right here, this widget, and we can scroll down to the things app with this cheeky little reminder. And then it can sort of give you to add a to do, keep track of today's progress, and also quick access to one of your lists. Customize, which we've done. We've done this one. We've done that one. Sync your devices. Now it can help sync your iPad, your iPhone, your watch, but you're going to have to buy it individually for each and every one. We just bought it for the iPhone, as I said, for about 10 bucks. If you use only this device, you should create a Things Cloud account. This ensures your data is always safely backed up in case you use it. Now we can tune this setup. We can convert this to a project. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's just, it feels good to know that I've, I'm, you know, I'm done with it. Now you can drag the plus button. Ooh, that blue button when you see at the bottom is more powerful than it looks. It was made to move. Drag it up to create a to-do anywhere you like. Drag it to the left of this project to create a heading. Okay. The mother project. Love that. Quickly add to inbox. You can quickly add to-do. Start by dragging the plus button, then drop it on the inbox shortcut that appears on the left side. And then you can quickly make an inbox. Love that. That's wonderful. Swipe for quick actions. So this calend puts it in a calendar. This lists it somewhere. You can move it, delete it. Search and navigate. Finding things is super easy and quick find. Collapse this to do. Scroll to the top. And you can search right away by quick find by just swiping the, the top of the screen. So yeah, this has been a basic overview for beginners on the Things 3 app. I think that it's very helpful. I think that it's easy on the eyes. And I, for one, get very, very overwhelmed when the app's UI is just full of stuff that you can access. So if you really want to be organized and you want something that is quick, intuitive, and simple, I think they made the most out of an app like this. I don't, I don't know if, uh, about the value for the Mac edition, you know, for paying 50 bucks for it. But I know that for a phone app, 10 bucks is pretty good for how much this app helps and makes everything super intuitive and easy to use. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.